this is the fire roll. So I'm using cotton here. These are your fibers. This is what's tough to find. If you have cotton, I would use it over any other fiber. It's easier to use. And here I have an accelerant. I would really call it an insulator because it holds heat in to catch the fibers on fire. The accelerants aren't the problem. I've seen dried up mushrooms used. I've seen chaga, tender fungus used, um, powder. You have to make it into a powder. This is wood ash, charcoal, rust. So the accelerant's not the problem. The fibers are gonna be the problem. And there are several sources of natural fiber. I've used yucca, yucca works really good. And the coconut husk works really good. And Texas sable palm, the fibers inside the palm fronds works really good. Anyway, so you take your fibers, sprinkle on some wood ash, be generous with it. There we go. Roll that up in a tight ball. Roll it up tightly. Roll this up into a fairly tight cigarette shaped cylinder. So you'll need two flat surfaces. I'm using wood. I've taken a larger limb that's about three or four inches in diameter, cut it in half, uh, put the flat side down on one and rub the, the uh, fire roll between those and that's worked really well. I right, gotta roll this up nice and tight. I don't want it coming apart and letting the wood ash come out. It'll give me a good position here. I've even rolled this between two rocks and it's worked. Here we go. So I'm going to start off slow at first. I'm going to go for about 10 seconds at this pace. I may have to readjust and start to speed up. Do that for another 10 seconds or so before I check it. See, I can smell it now, so I know I've got it. So a lot of times you'll start to smell it or it'll start to leave like a black streak on the flat piece of wood that you're using. That's a fire roll right there. So now you drop this in your tinder bundle and blow it into flame. 